and hi and welcome to Freedom Day. Yeah, well, that's what they've been telling us, it's Freedom Day. We get all our, as of um, half an hour ago, it's now 6.30, as of 6.30 tonight, we get all our freedoms back. Well, sort of. Uh, You still have to wear a mask outside. I mean, we're in the middle of the bush. You can hardly see anybody, but you've got to wear a mask. You might infect the cows or the the sheep. Anyway, not to worry. We get our freedoms back today, but there's some draconian laws being rammed through Parliament, even as we speak. And if you don't wear your mask outside, you could be fined up to $20,000 and thrown in jail. Uh, If you can hear the noise outside, that's Happy Jack. I, I don't know what his real name is. He de- he's down the back. He's a nice sort of a bloke. But he's got a bad. He's out there mowing. Right? There's nothing to mow. I, I go and walk off my energy, my excess nervous energy. He gets on the ride-on mower and goes up and down and mows the stones. Um, I really worry about it. I shouldn't laugh. I, I really worry about his, um, you know, I, I worry about, I shouldn't worry about him, but I do. But yeah, he's out there mowing and he doesn't have to. He just, you know, he, it's, it's terrible. But we're in, we're in a fairly scary situation because what is happening in, in Parliament here is that the Premier, the, the head honcho of this state, the, the highest elected official, uh, is bringing to himself the power to actually call a pandemic any time he likes. Yeah, and call it a state of emergency any time he feels like it. And it doesn't have to go through any checks and balances or anything like that. Uh, it's just going to be him. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that works. But I do know that um, parliamentarians who refuse to show their papers uh, when they come to Parliament House are not allowed in. And they're relegated, actually in a very Australian way, to the pub across the road, and they they actually join in Parliament via Zoom. (laughs) That's... You can imagine that you're in the pub where the bar is just over there. And you're on the job via Zoom. That is something um, very Australian. I, I, I like that. I really like that. It made my day when I found that out. Actually, it's not a, the pub itself. The, the pub across the road is the Imperial Hotel in Melbourne. Like You've got Spring Street with Parliament House there and Collins Street runs up to a T intersection. And you've got the Imperial Hotel just over here, diagonally opposite Parliament House. You've got a pub on the other side of the road. It's called the Windsor Hotel. And if it was traditional to toast your bread with a naked candle flame, that's the way they do it. It's, it I went to breakfast there once, way back when I was working in Melbourne. And the, the, it is just mag- magic. You walk in there and you're just taken care of. It's not like your regular uh, hotel or restaurant, for that matter. When you walk in there, it is a special place. But um, only the toffs go there. I was just fortunate that I was accompanying the toffs. But uh, we, normally it, the, 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 the media... Uh, go to the Imperial Hotel, which is across the road. But the parliamentarians, I've totally digressed, the parliamentarians go down to the, um, it's a nightclub, it's called, um, oh, I think it's called The Chase, and it's just down the road. They're in the basement. So it's the basement parliamentarians uh, dropping in via sco- uh, sco- by, by Zoom, to Parliament House, I hope they can actually vote via Zoom because it's very important. If these guys don't vote, we are in a lot of trouble, I'm here to tell you. But anyway, this is um, uh, very important votes coming up in the Senate because it's already passed 
the House of Reps. It's already passed. So it's, I think it's called the Legislative Assembly, which is the Senate in the state. And that's coming up in two weeks' time. And if this happens, well, it gets very strange because all of a sudden the Premier becomes the ruler rather than the head of the, uh, the party in office. He becomes the ruler and he can, what he says goes. And that isn't the way it is now. Well, it sort of is. But <laughs> that, that's the end of democracy as far as I'm concerned. That's my opinion, but I think that's probably right. Yeah, this could turn into be a, a, a long video and I may uh, say things that are, may not be quite accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description box below. It's the only link that's going to be there. Now have a look at that video and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. See you then.